How's everyone doing? Today I'll be reviewing Sherlock Holmes A Game of Shadows. This is the sequel to the original Sherlock Holmes movie in 2009 directed by Guy Ritchie and this again is directed by Guy Ritchie who definitely is an auteur who has a style all his own. You can definitely recognize one of his movies. And a couple of my favorite Guy Ritchie films are of course Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels and Snatch. If you've seen Sherlock Holmes Game of Shadows definitely let me know what you think of it and let me know which one you prefer the first one or this one. This movie also has Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law coming back as Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. And this also stars Nomi Rapace from Prometheus and the original The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. And it also stars uh, Stephen Fry and Jared Harris, who is a great character actor. And Jared Harris is great as the villain in here, Professor Morarty. Definitely equals Sherlock Holmes in the cunning and intelligence factor. Now I will say the plot is a little bit thin for this movie. It just seems like an excuse to push the action. Uh, there's a lot of Matrix style action in this movie. Kind of, you know, that slow down and then sped up kind of action sequences. And then you also have the Holmes vision, which kind of, in my opinion, takes you out of the action. It's where, basically, in his mind, uh, Sherlock Holmes is predicting different things to do when he's fighting somebody. He's like, uh, he'll throw a punch. I'll counter with a jab. And you, I'll counterweight this action with that action, and I'll flip him over. And then, after that, the scene actually happens. It's kind of sped up a little bit. And that happens... I don't know, I think at least three times in the movie, actually four times if you count uh, Professor Morarty, he does it as well because, you know, he's equally matched on the same intelligence level as Sherlock Holmes. So at the end when they have the big showdown, they both had that same thing where Sherlock Holmes is thinking, well, I'll counteract his punch with my punch, I'll kick him, and then Professor Morarty is like, I can do this too, and I'll counteract this and counteract that. And, and it just, it so takes you out of the action because then after that, the actual scene happens and it's going on. I'm like, didn't we just watch this? It just seems so repetitive. And I know in the first Sherlock Holmes movie they did it and they just did it once. And that's all you really need to do is kind of a, you know, neat little thing that they did kind of show how Sherlock Holmes is always thinking, you know, one step ahead. But in this one, they just overuse it in my opinion. They also overuse that Matrix style action. It's all throughout the movie where it's slowed down and sped back up. There's a scene where they're running through the woods and, you know, they're being shot at and it's just... Oh, it's just so overdone in my opinion. And like I said, the plot just seems like an excuse to kind of push the action. The plot is basically uh, Professor Morarty. He's set up all these different bombs everywhere and he's trying to assassinate different people because he's, you know, trying to make money off of war, essentially. And he's made all these different kinds of uh, purchases under different aliases and he's trying to capitalize and trying to create another war. And basically, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson have to stop Professor Morarty from assassinating somebody or having one of his uh, henchmen to assassinate somebody at a peace talks convention. And then at the end of the movie, they have Sherlock Holmes and Professor Morarty. They actually sit down for a chess match, you know, before the final showdown. I thought that was kind of a nice touch to it as well. I do like Professor Morarty as a villain. I kind of wish they would have used him a little bit more. I felt in the first movie, they used that villain more than they do in uh, Professor Morarty. And again, Professor Morarty was such a great villain, and Jared Harris did such a great job with him as well. Great character actor, and great to see him in this role. Like I said, I just wanted a little bit more uh, use from him as a villain. And I really do like Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law in these roles, and a great supporting cast in this one as well. And Numi Rapace, absolutely loved her in this one. She played kind of a gypsy, and she's kind of helping Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson because her brother is involved and kind of got, you know, brainwashed a little bit. And, you know, there's there's a whole twist with that as well. I actually like that part of it as well. And I really enjoy Nomi Rapace as an actress. Great job, and The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, the original Swedish version excellent as Elizabeth, and she was recently in Prometheus as well. I think she did a great job in that one. Kind of remind me of Sigourney Weaver from the first Alien movie. And Stephen Fry plays Sherlock Holmes' brother in here, and they look nothing alike, but very entertaining character as well. And if you're a fan of Sherlock Holmes' Game of Shadows, Warner Brothers did an excellent job with this release. The whole dreary effect of uh, 1890s London definitely looks realistic and authentic. You can really see the grain and the textures as well. Great picture quality and great audio quality as well. And there's some nice special features in here as well, including the Maximum Movie Mode, where uh, Robert Downey Jr. kind of hosts the special feature parts right there. And then you can see a uh, Nomi Repass right there. Different scenes from the movie. And this is the Blu-ray DVD Ultraviolet Digital Copy Combo Pack from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. Really nice slip cover. I don't know if you can see that hollow foil kind of look to it. Really nice. But now I'm going to show you a more in-depth look at this Blu-ray release itself. Let's check it out. And here we go. Here is the Blu-ray DVD Ultraviolet Digital Copy Combo Pack of Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows, released by Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. And it has a really nice foil cover to it. I like that. Very nice effect to it. Look at that. Like a rainbow foil. And down at the bottom you have the Ultraviolet uh, Digital Copy sticker. And then another sticker it says, Watch Robert Downey Jr. Uh, via Maximum Movie Mode, which is one of the special features which Robert Downey Jr. hosts, which is very cool. And you can see right there on the front cover you have uh, Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law as Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. And you can see right there the shadow, which is really cool. 
and that works with the title, Game of Shadows. And it's slightly embossed right here, the title. So it's kind of raised up, really nice. Really nice cover, everything about it really works. The shadow, the text, uh, the foil, very nice touch. And then there's the spine right there, the title. And here we go, here's the back. Just goes over the special features and shows some uh, scenes from the movie. Really nice. A little synopsis of the, the film right there. With London in the background. And uh, the special features are Max Movie Mode, Inside the Mind of Sherlock Holmes, Robert Downey Jr. takes you through the film as only he can, Picture in Picture, uh, which I like that effect uh, for the Warner Brothers titles. A lot of them have the Picture in Picture. Uh, storyboards, focus points, still galleries, and you also get Sherlock Holmes, a Game of Shadows movie app. Uh, sync this Blu-ray to the app for a truly interactive experience. So that's pretty cool. Gives you some extra special features right there. But I like that uh, Robert Downey Jr. kind of hosts this and goes over some of the special features. But there you go. That's the nice slip cover right there. Let's go ahead and take that off. And there you go. The cover for the Blu-ray keep case is exactly the same as the slip cover, as well as the back and the sides, the spine. But let's go ahead and open this up. And there you go, there's the ultraviolet digital code on this slip right here. And just some advertisements for some more uh, Warner titles, Warner rewards. You've earned 150 points, so that's pretty cool. And then there's an advertisement for uh, the app for Sherlock Holmes Game of Shadows. And then here's the disc artwork right here, here's the, the Blu-ray, and then there is the DVD. It's a very nice, just kind of a simple uh, black with the text right there, which is kind of what Warner Brothers does for most of their titles, kind of a simple uh, disc design right there. But there you go, there is Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows, the Blu-ray DVD Ultraviolet Digital Copy Combo Pack from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. Again, really nice glossy slip cover with the hollow foil kind of design, the rainbow foil kind of design right there. Really nice. So there you go, there's a more in-depth look at the Blu-ray release itself from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. And again, if you've seen Sherlock Holmes Game of Shadows, definitely let me know what you think of it. Let me know which one is your favorite, the first one or this one. Leave me a comment or video response down below. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care.